All right, James Lee Love here for James Lee Love Show. I'd like to welcome you to another episode. All right. So today, what we're going over is why you need to use direct response marketing first for all your offers. Okay. Now, like, um, I got the idea to go over this topic from Russell Brunson. He was going over direct response marketing versus brand marketing, why they're both important, why you need to use direct response marketing first, why it's so important. The reason why I want to go over this, why it's so important is so many people have brands, right? And we fall in love with our brands. But here's the problem when you fall in love with your brand, right? What I believe, right, after I've been looking at it for a while is, you well i mean for a while is years right from you know i've been doing this for about five years now so what i'm noticing is people fall in love with their brand and exactly what they're doing but what they don't realize is if you can have a response to where you can help people that's where we talk about your lead magnet free offer to provide help to somebody right so less branding more help right what will happen when you're doing that is people will will start to gain trust in you and what you do and they'll actually have a solution involved already so when they have that solution involved already that will help them be able to move forward that will help them be able to like basically have something done already right and this is so important for your personal brand, for everything, right? Because really, this is what I've learned. Like, Russell Brunson talked about this, but without your list, right, without contact information, you have a hard time running your brand. It's going to be hard because you are you don't really know how often you're going to be able to convert off of social media platforms. It's kind of like something you do because it's just a part of your daily routine but you need to build a relationship because you have to look at it from your perspective right there's 10 companies like there's so much of the world that that you don't know exists yet like you're going to meet new experts every day you're going to build on your dream 100 shout out to russell brunson about the dream 100 really believe in that right and that's your core 100 brands people whatever the case that you want to sell to but that doesn't necessarily mean it's 100. It could be 10,000, 20,000. It's just a reference point, like to start at 100 and build from there. Higher or lower, it doesn't matter. Just to have a reference point for your target audience. 